Yo YouTube, what is going on? Stay humble white, and I'm back at it again with a quick maintenance vlog. Here we have my 2014 Honda TRX 400X. Uh, today we're gonna be doing the front brakes and the back brakes. As you can see here, this is what it looks like when you have to change your brake pads. I just did these brakes on my girlfriend's 2008 Honda TRX 400EX, and it's pretty much the same process. It's gonna be pretty much the same process for any quad. Uh, so right here you have your whole brake caliper. What you wanna do before you do anything is crack these babies loose right here. These two screws are 12 millimeter and they hold the brake pads. So now that you got your two 12s that are holding the pads loose, you wanna come over to this side. You wanna come over to this side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look for this 12 millimeter bolt and you're gonna look for its twin right here, which is right under this cable. So once you see these two, you want to crack them loose. They're loose now. Take them off. You slide the caliper back and voila. As you can see right there, those are your pads. And sheesh, did these have to get changed, man? Look at those. That's toasted. All right. So now to take the pads off. Remember these that we cracked loose earlier? You're going to unscrew them with your hand if you can. Unscrew them, take them out, and the pads will slide right out. There goes one pad, and there goes the second pad. Real quick, guys, too, I would highly recommend that you guys clean these bolts right here as much as you can and grease them up because the pads do sit on this, and that's how the pads move back and forth. So I would definitely clean these bad boys up on that front one, that front one, and the ones that are holding the back as well. Clean all of those up. So you took the pads out. Your next step is you got to push this little bracket back. You can push it with your hands. And then you see this little circular thing right here? That's the brake piston. I'm gonna push this back in using a C-clamp, the old school method way. So I'm gonna use one of the old brake pads, put it right on top. And I'm gonna put the C-clamp and just push that piston in, slowly but surely. And that's how it should look after you compress the piston in, guys. It's gotta go in as much as possible. So YouTube, the same way that you took the pads out, you're gonna put them right back in, one side facing down, one side facing up. Once you align them, you put the screws in, you get them hand tight, you tighten them up as much as you can with your hands. You put the caliper back on, you tighten up your 12 down here, your 12 up here, your two 12s over here. And that's pretty much how you do the back brakes, guys. Now let's go move on to the front. So now what you wanna do, you wanna to come to your front caliper. This is your front caliper right here. So just like the rears, you wanna crack these two little screwdriver, uh, flathead screwdriver uh, bolts right here. You crack those loose and it's gonna give you access to an Allen key. I'll show you guys. Shouldn't even be that tight. Shouldn't be that hard to come out. You just take these bad boys off. You'll have the access to the Allen bolts, which are this one and this one. You crack those loose crack those loose these are what's holding the pad so you want to crack these loose before you loosen up the caliper itself now that you crack those loose you want to find your two 12s your two 12s are going to be this top one right here and this bottom right here if you're looking this way it's going to be this top one right here and this bottom one right here so what you're going to do you're going to loosen those up Be quicker if I use my electric tools, but I'm already started. All right, so as you see, once you take out your two swells, the caliper falls. Once the caliper falls, you can pull off your brake pad screws, take the front pads out, see how they look. Man, these bad boys had to get changed ASAP. Compress your piston in. Push that in once you push that in. Put the new pads back in and pretty much do the opposite of what we just did and that's how you do the front brakes. And once you put everything back together, your bike should be good and ready to send the trails, the wheelies, the streets, whatever it is that you do. But whatever it is that you do, guys, just be safe. Always be safe. Thanks for watching.